Gemini Oracle messages. The first card is Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. As a soul, you are on a mission in this physical dimension. You are the only one who knows the correct path to take. Your intuition, your connection to spirit is your compass. You have the power to stay the course and you are stronger and more determined than you might first think. In order to experience many successes in life, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen. We must make it happen. It is natural for us in this human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. We are afraid of failure, ridicule or coming up short. Now is the time to make the proper changes and take risks and do things you never thought you could before. Your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength. Live the joyfulness your soul yearns for and engage in activities you have always wanted to try but were afraid you'd fail at. Your soul would not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish. You have the strength and fortitude to be capable of greatness. The second card is Sholem Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Slow and steady, breathe and flow, Take a gentler approach. The Shaolin master calls forth the ninja within. Shaolin medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and to tap into the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. It also teaches subtlety because when you are too forceful, you use too much energy and that may not be supportive of what you are working on. The Shaolin master, like a monk, has respect for all things. He is disciplined and guided by his art and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than somebody who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices and actions. You are being guided to flow like water, blow like air and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel the need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fulfill, fruitful and rewarding. Move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. And the last card is the sun. The sun brings blessing to this earth and this card's potential blessing in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or the writing of a publication of a book, or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now.